next I'm just going to show you some more factorising questions, factorising of quadratics. Remember factorising just means putting into brackets. Now when you see x squared, x and a number, like in these questions, remember that means we're going to be factorising into two sets of brackets, like this, okay? Now, some people, when they see these questions, they just like to experiment and guess the numbers that go inside here. Now, that's fine, but sometimes that can take quite a long time, and sometimes there are lots of factors to choose from. So, I'm going to show you a method called PATH, P-A-F, to help you find the numbers which need to go inside the brackets. So, in this method PATH, P stands for product, and remember product means multiply. A stands for addition, which is plus, and F stands for factors. Okay, so we find the product by multiplying this number here in front of the x squared with the number at the end. So, 6 multiplied by negative 2 gives me negative 12. The addition is the coefficient of just the single x term. So, in this case, it's just positive 1. Now, for the factors, you have to think what two factors, what two numbers, multiply to give negative 12 and add to give 1? Well, I know those factors must be 4 and minus 3. Because 4 multiplied by minus 3 is minus 12, and if I add those two numbers together, I get positive 1. Now, you might not be able to come up with these straight away, so if you're struggling to find the factors, you could always start writing out the factors negative 12. So 1 times minus 12, and minus 1 times 12, 3 times negative 4, and so on. And then you just experiment and work out which ones add to give 1. Okay? Now that I've got my factors, I'm going to write out the quadratic again, but when I get to the x part, the x term, I'm going to rewrite it with my new factors. Okay, so I'm not actually changing the quadratic, I'm just rewriting it in a different way. I've left out the x there, oops. Okay, so all I've done is I've written out the same quadratic, except the x part, I'm now rewriting in terms of my new factors. So it's actually the same thing, 4x minus 3x is still 1x, so it's still the same quadratic. Now, for the next part, you must take the first two terms in this quadratic and go back to simple core factorising. So remember, that's just with one single bracket. So what's the highest common factor between these terms? Well, 2 is the highest common factor in 6 and 4, so I'm going to write down 2. And x is also common in these two terms here, so I need to write down 2x. Now that I've taken out everything that's common in these two terms, I can open my brackets. So, 2x multiplied by something takes me back to 6x squared, so that must be 3x. Then I put my plus sign in. What do I multiply 2x by to get back to 4x? Well, it's just 2. Okay, now I have to do exactly the same thing for the second part of my quadratic here. Okay, so is there a common factor here? No, there isn't. Okay, so that means 1 is going to be our common factor. But we're going to use a little trick here before I finish this part. Once we know this bracket is 3x plus 2, if you've done it correctly, the other bracket must also be 3x plus 2. Now, what do you multiply this bracket by to get back to here? Remember I said the factor was 1. Well, it's actually negative 1, because minus 1 times 3x is minus 3x, and minus 1 times 2 gives me the minus 2. Okay, so if you've done it properly, if it's correct, these brackets should always be the same. So we've got one final step left in our factorising here. The bracket that's repeated, okay, is the first bracket, or it doesn't matter which order, so 3x plus 2, but you could write it there if you wanted to. And then in the second bracket are the parts that are left over. So we've got 2x here, and then this part here, which is minus 1. So now I have factorised this quadratic. Okay, so if you haven't seen this before, it might look a bit complicated, but once you've practised it a few times, it will become a bit easier. 
Um, so I'm going to do the same thing on the next one. So remember, this is called PATH. P stands for product, A stands for addition, F is for factors. So in the second one, the product is 12 multiplied by negative 3, which gives me negative 36. The addition part is the number in front of the x term, so in this case it's minus 5. Don't forget the minus, okay, otherwise you'll run into problems later on. And then the factors, okay, so I need to think what are the factors that multiply to give negative 36 and add to give 5, minus 5, sorry. So factors of negative 36, I'm going to write down a few here. I could have 4 times minus 9, minus 4 times 9. And I can see already, I found the pair that add to give negative 5. <clears throat> and it's these two here. Okay, so my factors in this question are 4 and minus 9. Now, remember, the next step is to write out the quadratic again, except when you get to the x part, you must split that up into your new factors. Okay, so in this one it's positive 4 and negative 9. <clears throat> so here I go, I'm going to write out the quadratic. So I've got 12x squared, and then instead of this, I've got positive 4x, so plus, and minus 9x. And then, not forgetting, the minus 3. Then, the next step is to take the first two terms and go back to simple core factorising with a single bracket. So, look for the highest common factors. The highest common factor in these two terms is 4. There isn't a common letter, so I'm going to open my brackets. Working backwards, <clears throat> what do I multiply 4 by to get back to 12x squared? It must be 3x squared. Now, I've just realised I've actually made a mistake. I didn't take out everything that was common. I need to take out the x term as well. So hopefully you spotted my error. Luckily I spotted it there. Okay, so going back here, the highest common factor is 4x. Now, what do I multiply 4x by to get back to here? 3x. And what do I multiply 4x by to get back to 4x? Well, I've already got 4x, so I multiply it by 1. Now you do have to put that 1 in there, okay, otherwise it won't work. Now, if you've done that correctly, remember, the next bracket must be the same as this one. So if we've got 3x plus 1 here, just leave a little gap. This one is also 3x plus 1. Now we need to work out what we multiply this bracket by to get back to here. Okay, remember to include that negative with that 9. So something multiplied by positive 3x gives me negative 9x. Well, it must be negative 3. So when I multiply these together, it should also take me back to here. And minus 3 times 1 is minus 3, so it does. So the final step is bringing it all together. So the bracket that's repeated, 3x plus 1, is the first part. And then in the second bracket are the bits left over, which are 4x and minus 3. But remember, the order of those two brackets, you can write it either way around and you'll get the same answer. Okay, so there's factorising quadratics, um, especially when there's a number in front of the x squared, and it might be a bit more difficult to just guess those factors that go inside the brackets. Okay.